Welcome to Uptempo, a new online series that gives you an inside look at Florida Grand Opera, upcoming events, and interviews. I'm Cal Gadraj, and today we're taking an inside look at next season with Justin Moss. Opening the season is Mozart's Don Giovanni, the story of the world's greatest lover, Don Juan. One of the most enigmatic and provocative characters in our entire cultural tradition is surely the Spaniard Don Juan. This man and all of his exploits have inspired generation after generation of artists, composers, and poets who took inspiration from this guy's activity and his character, trying to identify exactly what the significance of it was. And uh, so predominant was he and so everywhere that you look did you find him that when Mozart and his librettist Lorenzo de Ponte uh, were looking for a topic for their second collaboration following the huge success of The Marriage of Figaro, this Don Juan seemed to be their man. And of course, opera being largely an Italian art form, Don Juan morphed into Don Giovanni. And it is in this opera that Western culture really confronted this guy musically uh, with an astonishing depth. Few operas have provoked as much discussion, uh, thought, and um, deconstruction, shall I say, as this opera of Mozart's Don Giovanni, which has become one of the towering monuments in our Western musical tradition. And like the Don, Mozart's opera has inspired um, just huge uh, outbursts of creativity around the world and has attracted to its colorful roles the leading opera singers of every generation. They've tackled these characters with uh, uh, relish and aplomb and frequently earned tremendous praise uh, in bringing these characters to life. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece. When you come and see Florida Grand Opera's production of Don Giovanni, you will marvel at some of the most beautiful opera arias ever composed, and you will ponder at the dubious achievement of Don Giovanni's 1,003 romantic conquests in Spain alone. But you'll be glad you did. Don't miss Don Giovanni, set to the lavishly orchestrated musical genius of Mozart sung in Italian with English and Spanish projected translations at the Art Center November 16th through the 24th and at the Broward Center December 5th and 7th. Next, we welcome an audience favorite, a love affair that goes horribly wrong and a fateful meeting of East and West. Here's Justin Moss with a preview of Puccini's Madame a Butterfly. For many opera lovers, Puccini's Madama Butterfly is one of the most powerful and effective works in the entire repertory. The American sailor, the young Japanese girl, and two cultures so opposed from one another uh, all together create a toxic brew that poisons anyone who draws near. The American sailor has come to Nagasaki uh, he engages a young girl as a distraction, but callously knowing that one day he'll want to take a real wife from America. A marriage ceremony is, is uh, orchestrated and poor Madama Butterfly, or Chocho-san, her given name, enters into this completely bewildering and new world. She's determined to be Lieutenant Benjamin Franklin Pinkerton's wife and rejects her family, her old religion, uh, and starts out on her own in this new relationship. Very shortly afterwards, she finds herself abandoned, but absolutely wills herself into believing that he's going to return to her. Everyone else has lost faith, but finally she feels that she's been justified when his ship is seen coming into the harbor. Soon, though, the callow American sailor undermines any faith she may have had still that he would be faithful to her, that he would love her, and he undermines all hope she had for stability, love, a family, and happiness. Instead, she realizes only two things remain to her, 
honor, and death. It's a magnificent clash of cultures, an emotional ringing out, and an experience at the Opera House unlike any other. This is the real thing. This is big, this is powerful, and this is opera you won't forget. Come and see Florida Grand Opera's Madama Butterfly. This devastating saga of devotion, tradition, and sacrifice is one of the most beloved operas of all time. Puccini's Madama Butterfly will be sung in Italian with English and Spanish projected titles. will be at the Arch Center January 18th through the 26th and at the Broward Center January 30th and February 1st. Don't forget to save the date for our 79th anniversary gala themed The Butterfly Ball, which will be opening night January 18th at the Arch Center. More information will be announced soon. As an added bonus, you can purchase Don Giovanni and Madama Butterfly as part of our duet series. You can get both operas for as little as $28. Next, the Grand Master of All Opera. You'll want to be in your seat as we ramp up the musical and dramatic intensity in Verdi's masterpiece, Rigoletto. Verdi's Rigoletto is surely among the noblest of the Italian grand operas. The scoliotic court jester, the licentious nobleman, the innocent daughter of the jester, all become caught up in a chain of events that unravel with fury and fire. Rigoletto is humiliated at his daughter's abduction and plans revenge. He hires a rough assassin to assist him to that end, and at the last minute, Rigoletto's carefully laid plans are minutely and innocently tweaked by his accomplices, or so they think. The consequences are monumental, however, and Rigoletto has paid good money to the assassin for a sack allegedly containing the body of the nobleman, but instead he discovers it contains his dying daughter. I guess I should have inserted a spoiler alert right there, but at any rate, the end of this opera is no surprise, and it always affects a complete and total uh, kind of catharsis that ancient Greek theater and contemporary Italian opera uh, relatively are so very, very good at. We have magnificent artists in this iconic piece, and no production of Rigoletto should ever be missed, and Florida Grand Operas is no exception. You don't want to miss Verdi's most powerful score as we bring this intensely moving drama to life and death. Verdi's Rigoletto will be sung in Italian with English and Spanish projected titles at the Art Center March 28th through April 5th and at the Broward Center April 30th and May 2nd. A trio series is also available which includes Don Giovanni, Madama Butterfly, and Rigoletto for as little as $42. Finally, we close the season with a Florida Grand Opera Company premiere, Cimarosa's Il Matrimonio Segreto. The Secret Marriage. Secrets can be troublesome and keeping them can often have unintended consequences. Nowhere is this any clearer than in Dominic Cimarosa's opera Il Matrimonio Segreto, The Secret Marriage. This was one of the most popular operas in the world for many, many years. It premiered in 1792, the year after young Mozart's death, and exemplifies one of the finest examples of the grand tradition of Italian opera buffa. When the daughter of a wealthy man secretly marries one of the household employees, it sets off a huge chain of events including misguided matchmaking, misunderstanding about position and inheritances, and frankly the whole household goes into complete pandemonium until it finally unwinds, the secret is revealed, and again in the great Italian opera buffa tradition, everyone ends up more or less happy. It's a wonderful comedy, and come and see Florida Grand Opera's production of The Secret Marriage, and you'll see why this was one of the most popular and famous operas in the world in the early part of the 1800s. Thanks, Justin. 
Discover this charming score and become part of the drama when a family secret is uncovered and changes everything. Originally sung in Italian, but we have a special surprise for our audience as part of our Made for Miami series. This opera will be at the Miami-Dade County Auditorium, April 18th through the 26th. You can get all four operas for the season for as low as $56. Visit our website at www.fgo.org or call our box office at 1-800-741-1010. Single tickets aren't available until September, so lock in a subscription now and get the best seats at the best prices. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Uptempo, and we'll see you at the opera.